Hey everybody, my name is Charlie and I'm changing the stock tailpiece on a 1983 Gibson Les Paul Deluxe with a Duesenberg Les Trim tremolo system. Let's see how it goes. <laughs> I have a Duesenberg star player, I love it, um, but you cannot replace the mini humbuckers in a, in a Les Paul Deluxe. And so I just wanted to have access to that same type of smooth tremolo that I have. You might have seen an earlier video where I did the same thing um, with my uh, Gibson ES335. And I wanted to do this because after the first one, they just get easier and easier. The Duesenberg trem comes with these two Allen wrenches these two sets of washers, one's a thick, a thicker washer and a thin, thinner washer. And then it comes with screws to replace the stock pieces uh, for Asian guitars, or of course, these two screws here, which replace the, um, the stock bolts for American made Gibsons. Mine's an American made, so I replaced it with that. The Tremlo is super smooth. You know, it just, it just moves so well if you've ever played a Duesenberg. And uh, it's pretty simple to install. I've had Stets bars. I've tried Sir Tremlos. Um, and I played some Gretsch stuff, some Bigsby stuff. I just have returned them or sold them on Reverb or Craigslist. And when I bought a Duesenberg, I fell in love with the way the Trem worked. So this is where we are right now. And I'm about to uh, restring it and see what it does. So I installed the Duesenberg Les Trem on this uh, 1983 Gibson Les Paul Deluxe. And I wanted to give you a little bit of a close up on the actual mechanics of it. It comes with uh, two sets of washers, a thick one and a thin one. I used the thick one on my ES and I did the same thing on this. And you can see the goal of the washer is to not have the tremolo sitting on the body. So it's super thin but uh, just enough clearance to keep it off the, keep it off the finish. Um, I love the way the trim works. And there's a few adjustments that allow you to kind of spin this arm this way and have it angle up or slide it forward with these two set screws here. And then this allows you to uh, kind of set the travel of the spring, at least in my opinion. But that's the way it looks. I'm really happy with it, and uh, let's hear how it sounds. Hey guys, hope you liked the video. Please hit the subscribe button if you want to see more or just uh, want to hear some other updates I have on some other cool gear I want to do in the future. Thanks for watching.